The Center for Surgical Innovation really started with an idea, a dream about a facility that could dramatically accelerate and improve surgery. It really is a surgical laboratory. It's a controlled environment with all the tools needed to test a surgical procedure. When we conceived of CSI, we really wanted a, a constructive facility that would allow us to investigate disruptive technology and procedures rather than do incremental change. Research is um, an innovation or disruptive uh, to standard practice. In fact, by their very nature, you want them to be disruptive. The Center for Surgical Innovation as a facility will consist of two operating rooms and two procedure rooms. It's along a linear uh, set of suites, two imaging rooms, one for CT scanning and one for MRI. And those scanners, uh, one of the very interesting aspects of the center is those are on rails, or on, mounted to the ceiling, if you will, and they move along tracks. So the MRI can go into either OR, and the CT scanner can go into one of the two ORs, what we call OR2. OR2 will then enable uh, procedures that could use MRI and CT, which is very unique. In fact, it's the only facility, only operating room in the world at this time that has both MRI and CT scanning. CSI will allow us to do procedures in ways that could be significantly better and reduce human error than conventional surgery. We could be putting a, a screw to stabilize a fracture in the neck very, very precisely and recheck the image every millimeter of advancement and adjust um, things microscopically in sub-millimeter, sub-degree increments to get the screw perfect. That is much better than the hand-eye coordination of the very best surgeon on earth. In addition to being a research facility for innovation, with CSI we can offer services we wouldn't otherwise be able to offer. Pediatric spine surgery, certain types of brain tumor surgery, um, spine cancer surgery, and eventually some vascular programs that are very distinguished. Uh, so it has direct value for our patients. So the cost question about CSI, we get that all the time. People ask, well, aren't you just making surgery more expensive, more technology? And it's a very interesting and complicated question. I think the long-term benefits for society are really twofold. One is uh, for complex surgeries, making those as uh, precise and uh, effective as possible. Secondarily, I think we'll develop low-cost technology that can be disseminated out to um, uh, to anywhere, really. Dartmouth has a very strong reputation for measuring outcomes, and that's carried forward in CSI. We will be very carefully looking at how the technology we use to improve the lives of patients actually works. Does it really improve the lives of patients? How much and how often and at what cost? So that's a core principle. I think the fantastic thing about Dartmouth is the collegial and collaborative nature of the institution. It's just about the right size. Dartmouth has the very best of facilities that are anywhere, and CSI will be you know, a landmark facility in that regard, really world class uh, in every regard. CSI is a fantastic opportunity really for learning and education at all levels, whether it be undergraduates, graduates, medical students, residents. Um, junior faculty, et cetera, because we can all come together in a space that really gives access to these individuals in a training period that is very difficult to uh, attain otherwise. So we're looking for partners who share our vision, uh, could be donors and philanthropists who want to advance science, who may have a personal goal to improve surgery. It could also be corporations who really want to accelerate the development of new technology. One of the great things about CSI, we do see it as a national destination, and we want it to be a national destination, not only for patient care, because we'll have the very best capabilities, but we also want it to be a national destination for innovation. We're ready to partner. We, we would love for CSI to be used 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with projects from all around the country that are going on continuously to leverage the technology. Um, so we're very excited.